Today we are going to be delving into several different techniques for glass, translucency, and transparency. I'm going to be talking about how to make these textures and how to practically use them in more than just making glass for your background scenes because there's so much more that these offer. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. First, let's start off by actually creating normal glass in Eevee. So to get started, let's start off by just making the basic glass. So in Eevee, this is pretty simple. There's just a couple of things that we should do before we start with the actual materials. So first and foremost, your render engine in render properties should be set to Eevee. So make sure that Eevee is selected. Next, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and make sure screen space reflections is enabled. And under screen space reflections, so it has a drop down, make sure you click on refraction. One more thing to continue to help us set up the scene. We're gonna do shift A and then head up down here to light probe and we're going to select Reflection Cube Map. And we're simply going to click G and move this cube map right where we're planning on the reflections occurring. So it doesn't have to be too big, uh, just enough to encompass our reflections. Okay, so now it's time to actually start on the material. So let's do this donut and then the donut on this side we'll do with a slightly more complicated translucency effect that you can use for characters and other things so basic glass so make sure your object is selected head over here to your material properties and simply add a material so once you have added a material scroll down on the right side here and make sure transmission is turned all the way up and we're also going to turn roughness all the way down so now you're probably wondering why exactly this doesn't at all look like it is glass <laughs> so now with our material scroll to the very bottom of that material and make sure screen space refraction is enabled and there you go that looks a little bit more like how glass should be behaving. So now that we have that, uh, you can also mess with a couple of the other minor settings. For instance, uh, let's say you just don't want like as sharp of reflections in your image. You can head up here to your materials and go to transmission roughness. And if you up that, all that basically does is it'll make it so you have a frosted glass instead of a clear transparent glass and that's basically what that's doing uh, you can of course also go to your base materials and just move around that base material I'm going to show you another little trick you can do with glass to make it even cooler in my head this should work I've actually never tried it before <laughs> so I've got my little donut here I'm going to head over to shading and with my donut selected, I should have that material's principled BSDF, so my glass that I just created. So now with that glass, I'm gonna do Shift A while in shading and then search for, let's just do a noise texture. And now I'm gonna do Shift A, search, and I'm gonna search for a float, a float curve, and then one more Shift A and search for a bump. Okay, so now that we got all that stuff, let's plug the color of the noise into the value of the float curve and the value of the float curve into the height of the bump. And now this bump, this normal over here, I'm just gonna hook right into the normal. And so you'll see we have this really, really weird strong effects going on that kind of ruins the glass look. So first and foremost, let's turn down the distance of this bump. So I'm gonna turn this down just for now to like 0.1. And judging from its refractions, I'm gonna turn even lower, possibly even 
and you can keep adjusting this until you get something more what you like and what looks good uh, and just so you guys have more context I'm also gonna just real quick shift a mesh and let's add a monkey behind this uh, just so you guys can have a slightly better idea of what's actually going on and refracting in this glass and I'm gonna make this monkey red or better yet let's make him purple <laughs> Hey, so there's our monkey. To me, for a lot of glasses, you want kind of almost a little roughness to them, and it makes it look a little bit more like glass even. So uh, it's really up to you guys what you do, but I find that I like to add just a tinge of texture. Oh, that was good. So I have a, my distance set to 0.02 right now, and I feel like that adds a really nice subtle bump to that texture. And of course, your noise over here you can adjust this float curve to help decrease and increase uh, that effect and also your scale you can increase or decrease as well <laughs> but if you increase it this much why do it <laughs> so let's just go back on that so now let's go over into the slightly more complicated texturing so now we're going to add while in shading still for a new object uh, add a new material and we want to make sure something called node wrangler is enabled it is an add-on that comes with blender so you don't have to worry about anything so just do edit preferences add-on uh, and then type in node wrangler and make sure that's enabled so now that we have enabled node wrangler now we're going to go to a website called ambient cg so Ambient CG, for those of you who don't know, uh, uses 100% free materials that they have made themselves. And let's go find a material that we can use to help us uh, with a cool glass effect. So I'm just gonna look in their general textures here. And I'm wondering if we could get something pretty cool just using this kind of circle tile pattern. And I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna download this uh, JPEG. And 2K usually is just about as much as you'd ever need, but you can download 4K and you'd be insane to download 8K. <laughs> so now that I've downloaded that, I'm gonna unzip this file. So right click, extract all. I have a folder specifically for uh, different textures and materials. So I'm gonna to go to that folder and extract. Okay, so now that you're back in Blender after you've just extracted that file, uh, make sure that donut, <laughs> make sure that object is selected. Uh, hit that principal BSDF for that object and then hit Control Shift T on your keyboard and go to wherever you may have just unloaded that texture and i think mine is tiles 129b here and select every single file that is a png or jpeg file however there's no need at all to do files such as usdc mtlx and then once those files are selected hit principal texture setup so you can see already that just looks straight up cool <laughs> and I'm not really gonna mess with the the size of this texture a whole lot for this little donut that we have however I am gonna see what happens if we simply turn on the transmission and mess with the roughness so let's see I'm turning on the transmission and as you can see we not a whole lot changed there However, now I'm gonna go down here and I am going to enable screen space refraction. And I'm also going to do search color ramp and add it between the roughness. And I'm gonna do shift A and just add in another color ramp. And because it's black, that is why we're having some issues not seeing uh, not seeing quite what we want to see from our monkey. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swap these positions over here. So now this side is black. And I'm gonna make this more of a teal. And there you go. It just creates this really, really neat looking effect for your glass textures. So this is a character I've been working on for a different project. Um, and if you look close, I'm using all of these methods. For instance, I've got uh, this kind of cool futuristic mesh around her neck and I've made it semi-translucent so you can see her wiring beneath. She's got this cool jacket and this jacket is also just a texture but I've also messed with the transmission and the roughness of the transmission and used a lot of color amps. And then here's just uh, like the same texture on her head but on her hand and on like the a couple different objects in the scene. I just wanted to show you guys what exactly is possible and you can do some really, really neat things using these techniques uh, that you maybe didn't think about. Like for instance, making a semi-transparent robot skin. <laughs> anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys and it helps you understand what's possible. Uh, if you are willing to do uh, something to help my channel, the best thing you can possibly do is leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Any one of these three things will have helped my channel more than you will possibly know. Thank you so much for watching this and consider subscribing. Have a great day. Bye.